capo. Hello my Libra friends, it's Guiding Halo and this is going to be your reading for the week of the 6th to the 13th. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for your support on the channel and your likes, shares and subscribes. I appreciate it more than I can see. Let's see what's going on for you guys for the week. Whoa, 16th to the whichever. We have the Hermit to the 13th. Oh, and we have the Ten of Swords. My Libra friends, the end of a difficult situation. Self-discovery in the Ten of Cups. Wowzers. Two tens. You guys are wrapping things up and starting new, are you? What in a new line of trajectory? You've been in Herbert mode long enough? Is that what I'm getting here? Someone's putting end to hopes and dreams of emotional fulfillment? Perhaps you're ending being single and going after emotional fulfillment. There's someone you like. This came out in your reading last time, too. There's someone you would really like to maybe see what could happen with. You think it could be your Ten of Cups. You don't feel you're good enough, do you? Oh, all up in your head about that comment I just made. Some of you may say, who the hell? Of course I'm good enough. Yeah, there's an ending coming here in some way, shape, or form. And you're all up in your head about that said ending, or there has been an ending that you can't get over. You're concerned that what you're about to do is going to cause conflict, and it could be something to do with a Scorpio. I think this is a transformation. You've been in hermit mode, and it's a transformation. There's going to be conflict, which is a tower moment. This ending, this transformation kind of blows your mind. <laughs> have you guys just been thinking you'll be a player and uh, rush about here, rush about there, enjoy the whims coming your way and not put much effort in? Been single for a while, conflicted about being single because you're feeling lonely, but you've been a player here and there, in and out of people's lives, and there's an, oh, there's a tower moment coming here. How's it coming? It's coming in the form of the Ten of Cups, my friends. Some emotional fulfillment has found you or is about to. A contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional material needs are met. A trustworthy relationships. Beautiful. Confusion. Oh, yeah. There's confusion here. Someone has sparked your interest and you're like, this was not in my plans. What the actual F? The inflow of abundance. The inflow of being able to take someone up on something oh wait is this a virgo taurus or capricorn oh my goodness there's a whole lot of earth involved in this chart holy crap we got a virgo here we got someone conflicted about how a taurus or capricorn virgo may feel about it but there's an offer possibly to go out for coffee you're so conflicted about even entertaining the idea of this cup I think you're tired of being used and abused and you only want this. If it's not going to end up in this, I don't want to look at it, see it, or breathe it, or even think about it. FFS. <laughs> totally getting that. You're willing. I think you're willing to buckle down and put the work in, but you darn old better be sure you want this. There's going to be communication about putting the work in. Oh, look at that, you guys, my Libra friends. If you have been single and you are a Libra, I'm telling you right now, aw, uh, you want to put the, you, you're so concerned, you're scared to death. Aw, uh, but you've got such a heart of gold, my Libra friends. Perhaps you're concerned that someone out there is a player You'd like to offer something to them. Do you realize, right, that the reason they may appear as a player is because they're uh, not attached to anyone? And if they were attached, it may be a very different story as to what you'd be seeing. I hope you see that. 
So we have something you want for the long term, absolutely. You want a contented, rewarding family life? You absolutely do. Wanting to put the work in, passionate messages back and forth with somebody who you think could possibly be your Ten of Cups, and I'm going to hesitate to say, I am going to hesitate to say, but it could be a Virgo. And there could be a transformation coming in about you being single. That's a tower moment. And you could be very concerned about how people, younger people in the family are going to handle that. No way. Is this a in-law or a family member coming together with another in-law or family member? Whoa. That's intense. No wonder y'all are... Wow. Oh, yeah. That could be a possibility. That could be a possibility. The end of a difficult situation, embracing the change, and expect things to get better now, recovering from an addiction. And I would say someone's addiction is to thinking that they will be alone forever and being very happily with, happy with that. But... <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what's ending. Yep, buzz. Why? Because we've got love on the table here. Someone coming to offer you something emotional. Now, I wouldn't say it would be love necessarily, but we got the lovers right here. Perhaps you've got a dream all up in your mind now, and you don't even know how to handle that said dream. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, very much all up in your feels about what kind of ripple effect this is going to cause because you see these waves here you're usually very stable in your emotions but I think this is something you're concerned about the serpents in the grass you're concerned about the ships that you have sailed into port and built relationships with people you're concerned about those all falling apart if you do this Use your intuition and you pass through a portal, an energetic portal. This is the end of a cycle and start of a new one. Wow, lots of major arcana here, my friends. For you, in love, someone is coming into your life. You, for a lot of you, 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 mm, I shouldn't say that. You know this person already, I'm going to say that. Could be Taurus, Cancer, but it could be anybody, Gemini. Could be Virgo. This could be somebody that's been, you've been at a distance from you or you've kept at a distance for some time. Not seeing the positive in a situation. Offering a cup of love to somebody and possibly they use their intuition about what's going on and end something, end it before it even starts. What's this not seeing a positive in the situation? Hermit card. So this new opportunity has been given to you straight from the hand of the divine. And you're going to put an end to it because you're concerned about what people, family members, whatever will think. Somebody out there is going through this. Not seeing the positive in a Virgo situation. When it truly is an absolute victory. Is the ending a victory? Or is the start a victory? What is the victory? Tell me. What is this victory? <laughs> it's been about divine timing. That's why whoever this is about has had somebody in their sights for a little while. Because it's not been the right timing to go ahead and do this. And I think you're still concerned it's not the right time. But the Wheel of Fortune will spin and bring about the right times. You may want to keep it a secret initially. All up in your head about keeping it a secret. Perhaps the Virgo person or Cancer Pisces Scorpio wants to keep it a secret. And you're up in your head about that because you feel it'd be a lot easier. Oh, snap. I see why you want to keep it a secret. You could be dealing with a Capricorn that's not going to be pleased or all up in your head about how to deal with a Capricorn because of it. So this person you could be concerned about is a Capricorn and how they will respond to said circumstances. This is an absolute gift from God. 
this Ten of Cups that you could possibly have in your life is an absolute gift from God. I don't know about this Virgo, though. I think they're concerned and may put a stop to it because of all of this. And I, I think you're up in your head about how to handle it so that they don't walk away. There's something needs to be done here. I think... Oh, my Libra friends, you crafty little critters. You're going to make a preemptive strike with your family. If you're concerned about family... You're going to talk to them about it before you even get involved. You're going to tell them what's going on so that they can have an emotional transformation before you even involve this other person. This is this is divinely guided. Something take you for the long, long term. You see it as the lovers. There's a soul connection I don't think you've been able to explain. So what's the fear here, shall we see? Walking away from emotional turbulent times. You're afraid you're just going to have to walk away and there will be an ending. That's your fear. The divine's handing you a chance for the Ten of Cups. Or are you afraid they'll walk away? Oh, oh my God, you guys. Not just the Ace of Cups, but the Ace of Pentacles. And your ship's coming in. You guys, there's, there's something that the two of you could work on here together. Uh, a soul mission that could change the consciousness of people. Your ship's coming in using a creative endeavor. Something that's creative. A creative idea as to how to bring your ships in financially together with this person. But you're terrified it's just going to come to an end like everything else has. Very passionate about this person. The divine working no way in the background. To bring you this wow oh my libra friends y'all gotta fill me in on what's going on i'm just saying girls got to know you can be very concerned about how an aries leo sagittarius is going to handle this you want to create balance i'm not getting aries so much as leo and sagittarius how it will affect a younger person as well. But dang, are you passionate about this person? Whoofty. Okay, so the divine trying to... You got the Ten of Cups twice here, my friends. The Ten of Cups. You got the Wheel of Fortune. You got the Lovers. You got Marriage. You got everything on the table here. Wow. Ah, oh, victory again. Victory. Good news is on its way. Public recognition and awards. You might be surprised when you make this preemptive strike to your family. You might be surprised at the absolute support that they give you. It's going to shock you. You're going to be able to walk away. And I think it might put some tension away from the family. Stresses that have been going on. Oh, oh my God. Just forget about it. We got the Wheel of Fortune again. I haven't got this emotional in a reading for a long time, y'all. I'm so excited for you. Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups, Victory, Victory. The Divine is all over your shit right now. I'm just saying, this is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. A time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. Page of Pentacles. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging. Whoa! Yep. That's the truth. But in order to do it, you're going to have to cause a death or an ending to what? Your hermit mode, my friends. End of a phase or situation. It's going to take spiritual transformation. And it's time to move upward and onward in order to bring all of this about to you. What a beautiful reading. Queen of Swords, huh? Your guys' energy. Objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in a situation. Yep, I think that someone's all up in their head and in fear about telling people about what they want to do, but I actually think that these people that are involved are going to see this as a huge way to bring balance to the whole situation. It's going to transform the whole freaking thing. Well, hot bam, this person also may be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or very well may embody Queen of Swords energy. What a beautiful reading. Let's get best advice from the angels. 
See what the angels got to say. I think you're lying in wait a little bit here. I think you've talked to this person possibly back and forth a little bit about this. To help heal this situation, see the other person's point of view with compassion. Schooling, study, education helps your life purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. So there's something you may, you may need to learn through school in order to join this person on their mission. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to... I'm sorry, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart. <gasps> Look at that. The angels are trying to bring you marriage, my friends. If you, I don't believe that this person's married. You could be. I suppose you could be, and this could resonate in a completely different way. Absolutely. This could be family members having their own two cents in what you're doing where your marriage is concerned. You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I think this person coming in is going to help you with whatever it is you need to, to learn and to do. The word Lord. Look at that. Communication and the arts. In, in the word Lord. Wow. Wow. We have communication happening and a lot of communication that's going to come. And there's going to be a lot of praise and victory here. But make sure that what you put out there is 100% honest and upfront, my friends. Why? This is a card number 43, which equals a 7, which means you are on an incredibly spiritual mission. How beautiful is this? My Libra friends, I could just keep pulling cards forever. The Well Watcher. Wisdom, power of the divine. Look at another seven. This is about a spiritual journey and the divine taking you into your soul purpose, my friends. The wisdom to really sit there and do your homework and watch what people are saying and watch what people are doing. The power of the divine is 100% behind this. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I suspect by January 20th, I could hear wedding bells in someone's life. I don't think that they're going to want to wait. Not on this type of scenario. Anyways, y'all let me know if it resonates. Take care and blessings.